welcome students today we'll study msc final chemistry paper first photochemistry energy transfer or photosensitization the photosensitized phenomenon in which intermolecular exchange of energy occurs has great significance in photobiology and different photophysical processes the organic molecules with low intersystem crossing efficiency reacts only via their excited singlet state it is not possible in such cases to produce their triplet state fortunately a secondary mechanism for producing triplet state is available and that is photosensitization this method involves the transfer of excitation energy from an electronically excited triplet state of a molecule to a ground state of another molecule it is called energy transfer mechanism does a molecule in an excited state s1 or t1 transfers its excess energy to another molecule this process is called photosensitization or energy transfer the basic requirement for energy transfer is that the donor molecule should have at least 5 kilocalorie per mole more energy than the energy required to excite the acceptor molecule to its lowest excited state energy transfer refers to one step radiation less transfer of excitation energy from an electronically excited molecule donor to the ground state of another molecule acceptor after energy transfer the donor molecule returns to the ground state and the acceptor molecule gets excited depending upon the multiplicity singlet or triplet state of the donor molecule there may be a triplet triplet or a singlet singlet energy transfer the lifetime of s1 is short compared to that of t1 and hence there is greater probability of energy transfer through a triplet state under these conditions the energy transfer does takes place on every collision between the excited donor molecule and the ground state except a molecule now let us study the mechanism for triplet energy transfer here light is absorbed by donor d to produce its excited singlet state 1d which undergoes intersystem crossing to produce excited triplet 3d upon collision between 3d and ground state acceptor a energy transfer occurs to produce excited triplet 3a plus d if 3a gives the product it is called photosensitization and if 3d gives product it is called quenching benzophenone fluorescein etc are the examples of some important photosensitizers used in photochemical reactions now let us see the mechanism of energy transfer from benzophenone to butadiene in this example the light is absorbed by benzophenone while the reaction is taking place with butadiene benzophenone is acting as photosensitizer absorption of light by butadiene is negligible above 250 nm and so no photochemistry is to be expected under such conditions however when it is mixed with benzophenone and irradiated at 366 nm a region where benzophenone absorbs light it gives 
dimers. Now let us see the figure. The mechanism of energy transfer is shown here from benzophenone to butadiene. Apparently the light is being absorbed by benzophenone while the reaction is taking place with butadiene. Or we can say benzophenone is acting as a photosensitizer. The mechanism becomes clear when we view the energy relationships of the various excited states of the two substances. So have a look at the figure. The energy gap between S1 and T1 state of benzophenone is only 5 kilocalorie per mole. So there is very efficient intersystem crossing. While in case of butadiene, the energy gap between S1 and T1 state is very large. So ISC is not possible. When the benzophenone triplet collides with butadiene, a triplet energy transfer occurs. So in the figure you can clearly see energy transfer is shown. Now let us have a look at the mechanism. Benzophenone absorbs light at about 366 Nm and is excited to its S1 state and since the energy gap between S1 and T1 state is only 5 kilocalorie per mole there is very efficient intersystem crossing which populates the T1 state. When the benzophenone triplet collides with butadiene a triplet energy transfer occurs resulting in the formation of the triplet state of butadiene which reacts to produce dimers. Just see the equation. Triplet energy transfer is possible here only because the triplet state of butadiene is of lower energy than that of benzophenone. You can see this in the figure. On the other hand, Singlet excitation energy of benzophenone is less than that of butadiene. And so singlet energy transfer from benzophenone to butadiene is not possible in the above reaction. So it is always advisable to make the figure first and then study all this step by, one by one. The S1 and T1 states differ in energy contents and electronic distributions. They are expected to possess different chemical and photochemical properties. For example, the aspen state of butadiene undergoes valence isomerization. While the T1 state attained by energy transfer prefers to dimerize. The products are shown. Have a look. Let us see intramolecular energy transfer. Some substituted aromatic ketones and aldehydes are capable of transferring excitation energy from one part of the molecule to the other. An example of this is the series of four 1-methyl alkyl benzophenones the structure which display two independent absorption bends for the benzophenone and the nephthalene components. Irradiation of these compounds with light of the wavelength absorbed by benzophenone showed that there is an efficient transfer of triplet excitation from the benzophenone moiety to the nephthalene moiety. Thank you so much.